In this cross type, I have a three level hierarchy, territory, country and region, and then number of sales as my measure. Now these measures ranges from almost nothing to a lot more. And on this cross type over here, I've used a visibility agent to hide all those values less than 500. So for instance, Brandenburg here for Germany is not present in this cross type. Now notice these uh, values here, if you add them up, it does not become the totals that you see here. It's actually the same totals as in the first cross tab. Uh, so we need to calculate correct subtotals here. We do that by adding a custom calculation as a new column. And I'll just call my first calculation here my C1 calculation. And what I essentially want to do is to sum up all of my uh, visible children so sum d1 all visible children comma m1 like this and apply that and now the subtotals here are actually correct according to you to the values that we can see here but also we would like to uh, just transfer the values when we down at the lowest level so we need to modify this one a little bit now we could use an if and else with an all count like this, all count all children, uh, to detect if we are at the lowest level, if it's equal to zero, then we would like to just transfer the value, sum d1, comma zero, comma m1, else do the uh, calculation of sum of all visible children. And once we apply that, uh, we can see the we get the result like this. So now we fix the subtotals on the country level. And if we just uh, copy this syntax here, we'll need to fix the subtotals on the, in this case, the Europe level, because this one is not correct as it is now. Uh, it's actually looking into the number sales column. It should be looking into the C1 column instead. So I'll add a C2 here uh, with the same syntax, but now instead of looking into my uh, original number of sales D1 column, I'll look into my calculated C1 column in these two places. Uh, so I'm looking over here uh, now and applying that. And that actually fixed the subtotal on the European level. Now we just need to fix the total on the on the top total level. And I'm using the same syntax here. This is my C3 calculation. And if you have a four level hierarchy, you would need four calculations, etc. So you can just continue using this method to get the, the correct totals and, and subtotals. But once I apply this one here, my C3 column is actually sharing correct values, correct subtotals on all levels, and even uh, the correct top total up here. Now, my C3 is actually showing the right stuff now, so maybe I would like to rename this to number of sales. I just keep the C3 here just for, for reference like this. But now I want to just show the last column to my end users. So going into visibility, I can now hide my original number of sales and the other two calculations to end up with something like this.